Good morning, little cherub. He is the most cuddly in the morning. <laughs> it's my favourite because he's so sleepy. You're so sleepy. Are you going to see Effie today? He knows it's time to feed him. You hungry? You hungry? I'll feed you. When the rules change out or would they still apply? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am in desperate need of getting my eyebrows done. They look like two little snails. But I think this Charlotte Tilbury situ is gonna just keep them dead in place until I can actually go and get them threaded. This is incredible, this stuff. I've been through three of these. This is the Legendary Brow. It is done really builds up them brows. Oh, how are we all? I'm not gonna lie to ya. My SIBO symptoms are back with vengeance. I'm actually getting a lot of questions on my makeup at the moment, which I haven't got for a hot minute, you know? So I might do, maybe tomorrow, I'll do my full kind of makeup routine with you. Let me just put you back down there and hope that you stay there. So I'm really in the zone with my makeup now. I'm just really loving my skin. I did, did a little miso. Today is a huge day because I am going to see Despina who colors my hair because she's in London. Finally. And I cut my hair in preparation. You may or may not have noticed. Quite short. Short for me. Anyway, I was telling you about my SIBO symptoms which are very sexy and I'm sure you were so eager to hear about them. I, as you know, have something called SIBO which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth i've had it for like six seven years and i've learned how to manage my symptoms and right now my symptoms it's not i've learned how to manage my symptoms they are really uh, I'll, I'll get more into detail later but i'm basically going to my doctor this morning to hopefully get to the bottom of something because they've never been this bad in like since i first got diagnosed with SIBO, like they haven't been this bad. I think it's stress levels and stuff. Actually, I know it is, but I don't want to admit it, so which is why I'm kind of like hesitant to say it. Uh, I would like a lipstick. Oh, here we go, here's one. This is a little Dior Rouge Dior Crown Bell. It's kind of orangey, which I think is nice. So I'm gonna go to my doctor this morning, then I'm seeing Despina for my hair, then I'm going to go and see Estee and Effie. And Effie, Effie, I haven't seen Effie in so long. That's a little balm over the top. This is Summer Fridays. It's a really nice lip balm, actually. Does anyone else just wipe? I have quite a few things to show you, actually, because I have been shopping a fair bit. There's also loads of house updates. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't told you this. Guys, sit down, sit down. I cannot believe I've been talking to you for all of like four minutes almost, and I haven't told you this. Are you ready? You sitting down? I'm sitting down. I have a house move-in date, fingers and toes crossed that nothing else happens, but hopefully it is in six weeks. Six weeks! This is what's going in in the next six weeks. We have curtains, because I can't really sleep without curtains. <laughs> then we also have carpet, because I have carpet in my main bedroom. Then I have a door, like a new back door going in, uh, like a sliding glass door. Uh, then joinery, main bedroom joinery. Not shroom yet, shroom is not near done, but I'm moving in without shroom. We're gonna survive on that, it'll be, it'll be fine. And then, oh, there's something else that I'm missing, you know? Something else that's like quite a big thing that I need to move in. Anyway, there's one more thing, because I have six things on my list, because six weeks, six things. But, oh, 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 I remembered it. My De Gournay wallpaper. Now this wallpaper is a huge faff, like you have to un, do the tower rail you have to get everything out nothing else can be going on in my mask in my main bedroom or my main bedroom bathroom so it takes three days to hang it it's, it's a faff this wallpaper is a work of art and it'll be so worth it but yeah that's another big thing that's going in so i can't really use that part of the house anyway i finally have a moving date and let's just all cross our fingers and toes at those six pieces of the puzzle get in there and i could go to my nice house because i just really want to be in I want to be in now so badly. So, I've been, di been distracting myself to the maximum, and you know what that means. <laughs> oh God, well, I actually bought myself a really, really beautiful new bag, and I also bought a fun bag as well, which is actually arriving today, I got the notification. The 
first bag I bought you might have seen on my Instagram. This is the little hint if you haven't seen it on my Instagram. And then the second stuff I got is actually all downstairs. So let's go have a little look. I did a drum roll, please. My first Farfetch order of 20. 22. Oh, actually, I was wearing the blazer yesterday that I ordered. Let me show you upstairs. Oh, this is why I do so many steps on my Apple Watch because this house has four flights of stairs, which means I'm just constantly going up and down. Let me show you this coat because it was on the floor. <laughs> Don't judge me. But I actually bought this and wore it yesterday. So this is the little blazer I bought that's on sale. This is on sale on Farfetch at the moment. I've just got straight into it and I wanted to tell you how excited I am to work with Farfetch on this video because I shop from them so much that when we work together, I like collect all the pieces that I've bought from Farfetch recently to show you. So it's really exciting because it kind of goes beyond our collaboration because they are my go-to. So it's it's really cool to be able to share with you what I'm buying from them and what I love from them because they have so many amazing brands, so many, that I like showing you my kind of like edited selection and because their stock is from all over the world, so many different boutiques, they have the best selection and stuff that you wouldn't see on any other websites. So this I think actually came from Eat Deli. This is from Pinko and I really just want to as you may have seen in the past like six months, just up my blazer collection. And I thought this was such a great little blazer because it's kind of summer and winter appropriate. A little bit tweed looking. It just has one button at the front. It's not double breasted or anything, which I kind of prefer. And it's straight with a curved hem, which I really like. I find that quite flattering and a bit more feminine. I find sometimes blazers can drown me a little bit. Let me show you more up close so you can see the fabric. I mean, it's just, oh, it's beautiful. and. I don't love dark pink so much. I'm much more of a light pink person, but I like that this is a kind of weave of the two. So anyway, that was my first most recent purchase from Farfetch. Let me show you the other ones. Right, let me show you. I have one, then we have two, and then we have three. Sorry, my TV is on, let me turn it off not have a red reflection on my face. Okay, so what is this one? This one, so like, this is why I love Farfetch, because it's so cool, you can see where they're from. This one came from the Netherlands, and they come so fast. This one is also from the Netherlands, and that one is from a -Tay. I can't actually recall what is from what here. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys need to act fast on these. You need to act fast because every time a new color has come into stock on Farfetch, they've sold out. Not that saying that I have anything to do with it, but like slash maybe I do because it's so random. But this is the best workout set, the most flattering, the most sexy, and the most fun you will ever own. Every single time I got a, I got a blue one, like a blue brown one that sold out. And then I got a black one cream one that sold out this is a new color sorry that's do you coughing with this asthma this is a new color okay okay this is the new color i'm actually going tomorrow morning to my first dancing session of 2022 i know we're like already halfway through 2022 basically but i just just life has been happening okay so this one is like a brown and cream it's like an orangey cream can you see and the brown is super light these are so flattering these bras and they just look really fun i think i think they're such a great set and then this crisscrosses over your waist i will show you this on i need to put on the pants but i just tried on the top and it's every bit as amazing as i thought it would be the nude does kind of blend with my skin but i think that looks kind of cool it looks like just this part is sitting on me do you know what i mean it kind of has like a funny effect anyway let me just take off my shoes my leather pants. I think since the last time I bought these, I don't need to size up, but actually could be fine. They're quite squishing, you know what I mean? One of those ones that hug your skin in. Uh, okay, I'm in. Ah! We are in, peeps. That was a workout. I think it looks cool. Like, I kind of like the nude blend, the nude brown. This is a really good colorway, I think. My favorite has been the black and cream. Yeah, my favorite has been the black and cream, but this is, this is up there. I think they're just so flattering. Like, look, it just like cinches in my waist. It covers what I kind of want covered. It's really, really supportive. <laughs> and it's a really great length. And I like that I have three of the set. It is cutting time. I'm keeping this 
Goodbye. There's something so satisfying about doing this. Ready? Ah! Then, what's in here? Let's have a wee look. I'm really on a roll of buying amazing things. <laughs> like, I know that sounds really weird, but I feel like I'm finding amazing pieces. Like the other day I posted these black pants on my stories and then they sold out. And I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like I, when I find something really good, I'll see that it will sell out. And then I posted them on a different website and they sold out. And I was like, oh my God, people are like, people need these pants in their life. Oh yes, yes. For all my gals that love a little cute black top. Oh, you know, sometimes you just get things right when you're online shopping. Sometimes an order comes and you're like, I need to return everything. And sometimes it comes and you're like, I have nailed it. I feel like this is gonna be one of those times and I'm like, I've nailed it. This is a little Reformation Sweetheart Neckline Chiffon Puff Sleeve Black Top. This is gonna be a huge vibe for me. I can just tell. I can just tell. This is exactly what my wardrobe means. I have something like this in a jumper version and I just feel like sometimes it's a bit too harsh. Can you hear that dog barking? literally screaming its head off. Sorry if you can, it's a bit distracting. And I just wanted something a bit sexier for going out. I will show you that on as well. I'm super, super happy with this top. You might remember in an old Farfetch haul, I bought something similar from Self Portrait. That one was much more of a corset style and it was much of a thicker material. This one is really, really light. It's really airy and it's not a corset style. It's more like a jersey, stretchy fit. Corset styles I love, they, have, they serve their purpose but I find them really uncomfortable this is super 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 comfortable because it's nice and roomy and stretchy and it has a little bit more of a little sweetheart neckline so the ladies look nice and uh I was gonna say inviting <laughs> that's not what we want that's not what I wanted to say <laughs> that's what came to my mind anyway this is the little top I've tucked in you can have it tucked out as well it's not cropped but you can see it kind of sits just above the waist I like little bows on the sleeves as well and I like that the sleeves aren't too puffy you know if you're going to go for a little sweetheart neckline you don't want to be drowning in sleeves I just think this is such a perfect little black top I feel like it will go with a lot of things and will be one of those staples I could just throw on nothing like a little cutting ceremony cutting with my wrong hand <laughs> Oh, there we go, Wee. Okay, you were just actually resting on this box. <laughs> and now I want to show it to you. The thing that's in here is something that I saw, I think on the Threads Instagram account, and I fell in love with it. And I haven't seen it, it's not even on, it's from Prada, it's not even on the Prada website. Well, when I checked, it wasn't on the Prada website yet, and I've only seen it on the Threads Instagram account. And then my trusty baby, Carfetch. Had it in stock. This is my first handbag purchase of 2022. I actually posted the bag I showed you, the Hermes bag. I bought that after this and I've just been waiting to unbox this with you. So this was actually my first handbag purchase of 2022. <laughs> so excited. Are you ready? Oh, I hope it's as nice as it looks online because it looks really amazing. Oh my God, you ain't ready for this. <gasps> wow. This is the small new Prada tote. There's a larger one and it also comes in blue. The larger one is wider, not that much longer, but I wanted the pink and I thought if I had it too big, it would kind of annoy me because I don't carry that much stuff. But what do we think? What do we think of, oh my God, this bag is the sweetest bag. I am actually going away to Morocco next week. I'm so excited to be in the sun and this was on my mind for morocco i'm a bit in awe of it it's literally me in a bag it's pink striped raffia with the little prada logo i need to try this on with like a bikini or something or like some summer outfit just to see see the vibes do you think i need the bigger one i don't know you know let me just see now i feel like on me i mean <laughs> This is how desperate I am to try this on. Like I have a jumper, a blazer, leather pants, and then my summer bag. I was a tiny bit hesitant about the size of this bag and now I try it on. Like I literally just got a random bikini and some shorts to see what it would look like on. Sorry, this is my group because I've sent a picture of me with the bag to <laughs> my girls group to get everyone's verdict and it's a resounding yes. But I just wanted to kind of see what it looks like in comparison when I'm not wearing really thick clothes because it felt really small. But now I'm in a little bikini and shorts. I feel like it's actually the perfect size and I love the color. I, 
I'm obsessed with this bag. Two bags I felt like my summer wardrobe was missing. A bag like this, which is just like a quick, easy throw on bag, go down, not too big, not too much of a huge tote bag. Like the dual one I have, I love, but it's just so big. Like if I wanna take it to lunch or something, it's just, it looks like I'm carrying around my whole life, which I like doing, but I, I don't wanna look like I'm lugging. You know what I mean? And then I really, really wanted a micro raffia bag last summer and there just wasn't any. There was one Paco Rabanne one which I loved but it was much too expensive for something that I felt like was a summer a summer like micro bag if that makes sense. I found a micro raffia bag on Farfetch which is coming today. I'm really excited to see it and I hope it's what my dreams are made of. So I do have a Farfetch discount code for those of you that haven't shopped on Farfetch before or are interested in using the code. The code is 10YT Amelia. That will get you 10% off your Farfetch order. And I think especially if you're ordering something luxury, that 10% goes a really long way. I also have a Farfetch, ed Farfetch edits page of all my favorite things because Farfetch has so much stock. So if you're looking for like a quick link just to see my favorite things on their website then i will link that down below as well and all the pieces i've talked about will be linked down below too i thought i would also show you my favorite pieces i bought from farfetch in 2021 because i do so much shopping on there so i will maybe do that tomorrow let's maybe try and do makeup and farfetch favorites tomorrow guys this is his favorite bed in the world like there is no point buying this dog a bed because all he wants to do is sleep on my coats and this is his favorite coat because it's super furry can you hear him snoring he's like watching me but he's also asleep i don't know if he wants to go for a walk dookie what are you doing do you want to go for a walk hmm Maybe not. I was just changing to try and show you something else and then I remembered, this is how much I shop on Farfetch. I remembered that I bought something else that I haven't shown you yet, which I've shown on Instagram. I think I've just worn it. Oh my gosh, this blazer. Let me take off this one. Basically, my thing with blazers and building up my blazer collection was that plain ones look really boring and look almost too formal and too masculine. And I just don't, I just don't dress masculine. That's just not really me. So ones with little detail, like either like a buccal detail or a two or three colorway detail. Oh, why am I out of breath putting on a blazer? <laughs> I haven't gone dancing in ages. I'm so unfit all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, breaking out into a sweat. So this one is from a brand I hadn't actually heard of before that I found on Farfetch, which I love doing that. I was literally just looking through blazers. It has a little bit of a black detail on the lapel. I think that's a lapel. This is how unfamiliar I am with the blazer world. I don't know the terms, but I'm getting there. I'm building up my blazer collection. I'm very, very happy with my two latest ones. Again, you can see this is really soft, this cut. I much prefer soft cuts, and this one is actually much more fitted. I got a size down, I think, in my usual size. This one, I just felt like this would look much nicer fitted, and you can see it kind of comes in at the waist, the fit, which I think is really flattering. I have worn this with a black jumper underneath and it looks really good. I've just kind of chucked this over what I have now. This looks great with black underneath and then like black leather pants. And I've also worn this over a little black dress, which I think looks really great too. You can see the little houndstooth detail. I really wanted a houndstooth blazer. I actually found on Farfetch an Anine Bing one, which was around, I feel like it was around 400 pounds. I scrolled down and it showed me what that you might also like, you know, that section. And I found this, which was about a quarter of the price. And the Anine Bing one didn't have my size and this had my size. And I was like, oh, thank you, meant to be. So yeah, I'll link this one below as well. Thank you, thank you. Lunch has arrived. I love sitting on the floor while I eat. Just something that I love doing. Okay, this is my favorite place, Roll Baby in South Ken, if anyone lives nearby or gets a delivery nearby, I would really recommend it. They do, I get these every day. That one is like a, um, a date ball and one is like an almond ball and I love them so much. I could definitely make them in my blender, but uh, I'm too lazy for that. Then in my little box, I tried salmon yesterday, but uh, tofu is my favorite. You get two sauces and two rolls and the rice paper wrap rolls. If anyone watched me and Liv back in the day, we always used to make rolls for lunch. I get the hoisin sauce and the tamari sauce and we always used to make rolls for lunch. They take a while to make, so this is just so much easier when I'm feeling lazy. Mm. I'm eating. 
Do you mind? Or you can smell the vegetables and you love carrots. Hmm? <laughs> Look at him, you're drowning in fur. <laughs> I don't think you're getting any, huh? Watch him watch me eat. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, rice paper. <laughs> it's really mean. I'm sorry, baby. It's not for you. It's not for you. I'll give you something of your own to eat. What do you want? My far fetched mess is still there. What do you want? You want this bone? <laughs> All right. This bone absolutely reeks. Here you go, there you go, enjoy. This just in. My far fetch parcel just arrived to the office and Pia, who's currently somewhere, <laughs> Pia just brought it to the house. How smelly is his breath today? Smell it. Oh, yeah. it's a rad But you're so beautiful. He loves you the most. He loves Pia the most. I made my piece. Okay, so I actually bought two of this bag. This is a different bag. And I bought two because one I wanted to get for my friend tomorrow. So let's have a look and see. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. Okay. Apple <laughs> Watch trying to get involved. Oh my god, it's <laughs> tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> this is literally amazing. Where is the little bag strap. Is there a bag strap? There should be a bag strap. Hold on. This is absolutely hysterical. This is a hysterical bag. Yeah, this is the bag strap. Hold on. <laughs> I think this might even be a bit too small. I don't know. Let's see what Pia thinks. But it would look so cute. Is this too small? Is this too micro? Let's see what Pia thinks of said bag. I think she might laugh at me. You guys might be laughing right now too, but I kind of love it. Okay, Pia, what do you think of this bag? Hold on. Don't look. Oh, hi. Okay. Oh my god, stop. What? Kanye West. Oh yeah, did he- Truck full of flowers today. Yes, I saw that! What do we all think about Kanye and Kim, by the way, as I'm trying to put this bag together? How wild is that? And then he posted like, get my family back together. I think he's, he's ridiculous. Psycho. Yeah, I don't- He is psycho and Kim is unreal. I'm team he's, Kim. He, did you see his series of posts though? Which ones? You'll well, never meet my children. All yeah, those ones. I, but yeah, like all of those. He did about five different ones. He's a psychopath. I I don't like him anymore. To be. He's being mean. He's being really manipulative. We're not a fan. What do we think of this bag? Oh my god, it's so mini. <laughs> How funny is it? It literally is. T I don't even know if I could put a lip gloss in that. It's tiny. Oh, but it's so sweet. That That is really cute, actually. It's really cute. I'm wondering, though, if it's going to be one of those bags where you're like, it's like the Alaya bag, you know, where you just have it on your shelf for ages and you're never actually going to use it. Well, I can't put anything in it. That's adorable. You can put a lipstick in there. You so can put can... a lipstick and keys. And the size of your pillow talk ones are like that, so that yeah. as well. Oh, it's quite sweet. I am now just getting ready to go and see Desmond. That finally I'm gonna bring her a little gift because she's Greek and Greeks love evil eyes. I'm bringing her a little Caspara. I'll show you quickly before I go. I am bringing her a little Caspara uh, trinket dish. Oh, it's so beautiful. I always give Caspara the little trinket dishes gifts because they're just so easy. People always seem to like them. My mum actually gave some as uh, Christmas presents as well to people. Anyway, my taxi is outside. Ah, it's blonde time! I'm so excited to see Despina that I think I might scream, which is going to be very embarrassing because this looks very peaceful. <laughs> yeah, I said I'm gonna scream and it's so peaceful in here. It feels good to have you stroke my hair. <laughs> Feels good to be back. <sighs> okay, so how blonde are we going? Literally mid Despina away. <laughs> Look how much twinkle. She said I'm going blonde, the blondest I've ever been. Lots of treatments though. Guys, it's blonde. Finally! <laughs> I'm so happy! I am You're blonde! Oh, oh my, my god! I can't believe it! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited.
excited. Treatments though, yeah? Okay. Whatever you say, Captain. I'm actually in shock. Yeah. I don't know if I can turn off the camera. Dun dun. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see this. I look in the mirror and I'm like, who is that? Sexy girl. She is blonde. <laughs> so you don't let anyone get a friend? Uh, no. no. I mean, I'm driving them crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, are you sure? Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? Get them to call me. That was actually the fringe days. The were funny bad thing days. was after. I it's more that the maintenance is so hard of the fringe. It never. It looks good for like three days, and then it looks terrible. Good morning guys, good morning. We ended at 11 last night at Des Penis and I wanna show you my hair when it is, oh, I'm gonna fall. I wanna show you my hair when I've done my makeup and like curled it and stuff. So let's do that in a bit because first I'm going to Camille. I'm going to dance, which I'm so excited about. I didn't end up managing to see us stay last night because we finished at 11 p.m. Um, at Des Pinas. I got there at 4 and I thought I was going to see her stay at like 7 and at 6 I messaged her going don't think I'm going to make this evening <laughs> unfortunately. I can't believe Des Pina is such an artist. We stayed so late. I was literally like how is it 11? Anyway I'll show you my hair once we are done with Camille but I'm so ready to dance. I need these happy hormones in my life. I miss dancing. Dancing endorphins. Knock knock! Hello! Yay! I tried to open up, it wasn't good enough Put in my all and got nothing back Now I'm stuck in the rain dealing with all Okay y'all, time is running away with me today So I'm gonna show you makeup next week Cause I just wanted to see and feel my hair And do my makeup and my hair Whilst trying to see and decide about my blonde What do we think? I, I, I don't feel like a brunette anymore Like I feel very blonde. This is the blondest I've ever ever been. It's actually a tiny bit darker on camera. I'll show you in the light if it doesn't get too light. Hmm. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I'm going back on Friday for a gloss and I don't know if I need to tone it down a tiny bit or if I should just embrace the blonde or <laughs> I just said this to Guy actually. Everyone everyone who I've sent it to on FaceTime said they love it. As I was say, speaking to Guy, I said, am I an Arab girl that's looking like she's trying not to be an Arab girl? Like, does it look weird? Because my eyebrows are so dark. I don't know, like I feel like I used to be just a touch under this and maybe that's what I need to do. But now I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, so let's put on my sunnies. This is my little outfit of the day. I'm going to the office. I have a meeting and then I'm going to the house. I'm going to take you to the house with me today. <sighs> I really need to just do a big exhale. Hmm. What am I showing you? My outfit. <laughs> I'm wearing this little blazer, a black jumper, leather pants, suede boots, and my bag. I'm going to the office now. I'm going to see Pia and see her reaction to how blonde this is. It's so blonde. Well, I saw my housekeeper this morning and she's always like brutally honest. Like she has no filter to the point where like sometimes I'll just see her and she would be like, oh my gosh, she looked terrible. <laughs> like with a dead straight face, like no filter whatsoever. And I asked her what she thought and she said she really likes it. And I was so surprised because I honestly thought she would tell me she absolutely hates it <laughs> or something. How much is that? Yeah? and see your reaction <laughs> and you're like yeah not much is up anyway um, <laughs> I hardly even looked at you actually <laughs> that was so funny I was like really? vlogging your reaction it was like yeah all good thanks oh my god I didn't even look <laughs> that is so funny I, I need to know what you think <laughs> um, wow I actually need to know what you honestly think can you stand can I stand up? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> Only a little. Yeah, a touch. Just, Just like a touch. touch. Just got arrived. A Redial lip oil. Oh, wow, that looks so nice. 
It's like an oily balm. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Mm. Oh, that is that is lush. That is luxury. That's luxury. That, that is luxury. I really like it though because you've always wanted blonde. blonde. I've always wanted it to be blonde. <laughs> but you don't want blonde blonde. This is very blonde. No. Oh, here are the Essie polishes that I want. I'm gonna tone it down a tiny bit. I think. Ooh. Look how many of my gels have broken off too. I need to take my gels off and do my Essie treatment. And then I'm going to do Expressy over the top. These are really nice colors. Ha. Ah, la, 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 la. The powder room is underway. Look at my toilet. I'm just going to show you. Oh my gosh, with the high sister and it's so cool. Like, look at these brackets. Oh my God, that is pure sex. Go. Ah! <laughs> what do we think of my bathroom lights that are in? These are stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <sighs> oh my gosh, cue more sound effects. My neighbor just dropped around a little parcel for me and he was so sweet. He was like, I'm so sorry. I had it since yesterday. I was like, <laughs> that is totally all right. You did me a favor. You took a parcel for me so I didn't have to arrange delivery. He's like, I can't believe it. I, it's completely slipped my mind. I had it since yesterday. I'm so embarrassed. I was like, <laughs> one day that's totally fine like please relax i ordered some, a little crystal i was looking at crystals and the one that i was drawn to was actually a crystal that is like signifies like change which is so funny and weird and interesting i just found that really funny because i've never been drawn to a crystal like this before or this kind of color before and it was really weird it was like this will, will aid this crystal like is good for when you're going through change and i was like Okay, I just took that as a weird sign. And I was like, you know what? I've never bought a crystal myself. I only get given them. I've only got given them. It's called Vadanite on Barite. And it's, okay, it says, a wonderful stone to help align one's energies to the energies of the highest vibration and realize one's highest purpose. It helps get fully into one's power by clearing those energies around us that no longer serve any purpose. And this was the bit that really got to me because this is how I feel at the moment. And it's weird that this was the crystal I was drawn to. It helps one overcome any fear of change that may exist that may be preventing from one's true purpose. So I was like, I'm shook. It's weird. That was, that to me was a bit weird. Oh, it's in here. Oh my God, it's tiny. <laughs> it's literally a little nugget. Oh my gosh, but it's beautiful. Wow. I mean, that is pure magic, isn't it? Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's literally the size of my palm looks like i could eat it but it's so sparkly oh my goodness i wonder if anyone knows more about this crystal and where i should where should i put it i wonder i'm gonna keep it for now on my kitchen counter if anyone knows more about crystals and where i should put it let me know or should i put it on my bedside table that is stunning isn't it so pretty maybe i should put it on my bedside table you can see it a bit better now i mean look it's literally sparkling oh guys i really have been in a bit of a funny place this is teddy by the way <laughs> i have two teddies one's big teddy and one's small teddy anyway <laughs> so i've got a date stuck in my teeth so i mentioned to you yesterday or the day before my SIBO symptoms are back they haven't been back this bad for about four years which is really frustrating and i think it's more circumstantial than diet obviously diet has a huge part to play but i don't think if my diet was better and i wasn't having sugar or alcohol or whatever then this would have been like prevented if that makes sense and i was just speaking to my naturopath who i saw for four years every week and in march 2020 she moved and so i didn't see her anymore and i haven't really spoken to her since she moved because she moved away so i wasn't seeing her every week and i just spoke to her we just had an hour session it made me feel really good but also really sad like i love her so much and she helped me so much and it was almost like seeing someone that broke your heart <laughs> like it was just like oh i just want to be with you and i want her hugs and i want her to tell me it'll be okay <laughs> anyway it was quite promising she knows me she knows my body she knows my symptoms so she's gonna put me on a protocol it's a bit i don't want to say it with crying but it's like a bit deflating that all my symptoms have come back like i know SIBO is always there and it's something that i need to be aware of like the rest of my life basically but it's really deflating that it's like all come down like a ton of bricks it started around when i moved when i moved in here and i think it's just all around like uncertainty and just managing things that are quite out of my control in my personal life and 
with the house. I do feel like maybe now that I have a move-in date, maybe I'll feel better. Like, I, d I do already feel better just knowing that. So hopefully my body will, like, catch up. <laughs> That'd be really nice. Yeah, I'm just hoping I can kind of get this under control again so that I can live my life because it is... It's so antisocial. The symptoms are so antisocial and also really uncomfortable. Everyone has different symptoms. There's like such a host for me, and this is gonna be really TMI, but we're just we're just gonna go there because we're talking about SIBO symptoms anyway. For me, it's all candida, thrush, cystitis, and it's also a lot of pain, like round the clock pain, which is really frustrating when you just want to be like getting on with your day and doing stuff. You, I don't, I don't want to be in pain all the time. It's so irritating because it just doesn't go on top of like i've said to um pamela today my naturopath i said i haven't woken up so consistently bloated in such a long time and that was like my number one symptom when i first discovered i had SIBO when i was first looking into it like four or five years ago that i was just bloated all the time and it just it doesn't feel good and you wake up and you're like it looks like you've just had a huge like three course meal or something it's such a strange feeling on top of which your body is doesn't take in the nutrients that it needs to function and then that reflects like your energy levels and your behavior and your kind of mentality so anyway hopefully i'll get that back on track which is kind of why it sounds really weird but i kind of wanted to like take control of something and just have a glow up and dye my hair or just do something different and like take control of myself and my body i know that sounds really weird but that was why that was why i wanted like a bit of a glow up really i just felt like i needed it that was why i needed to, I needed to feel like in control because everything else just feels like so out of my control and for someone easygoing that might be totally fine <laughs> but for me I like being I like knowing the plan and the vibe and like I don't know I, li I like being in control fine 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 I like being in control okay you caught me anyway this isn't a pity party this is just general life updates you know anyway let me know what you think because it's wednesday afternoon now i'm gonna put this video live in like the next couple hours so before i go and see despina on friday oh the pillow is in focus not me before i go and see despina on friday you can tell me your thoughts and then we can we can go from there but i'm i am getting more and more used to it the more i see myself on the viewfinder and i've always wanted to be this blonde and it's kind of like why not you know bit of bit of fun bit of fun the other thing i promised you we would do in this vlog is I would talk you through my best far-fetch purchases of 2021 and I went through them all and I basically listed everything I had bought on far-fetch in 2021 and I was like this isn't best purchases from far-fetch <laughs> everything that I wore so much like I bought from far-fetch that I loved so I didn't have a ranking of it really I love so much my um, Zimmerman dresses that I got. What I might do instead is do a video of all my Farfetch hauls, like a, a playlist, and then you can watch all the Farfetch hauls if you want. And definitely check out my edit page because that has all my um, favorite things from Farfetch at the moment. But yeah, I literally looked through and I was like, oh, so everything was my best Farfetch purchase of 2021. Great. <laughs> that narrows it down. Helpful. I hope you had a wonderful start to february mercury retrograde and the shadow period of that is over now i have never believed in mercury retrograde so much as i did this time which is kind of funny because i normally used to just like say it for lols and now i'm like no i really believe in it anyway the shadow period ended yesterday Whew, in case you're wondering and i will see you next week with another vlog i will do my makeup with you next week maybe my hair will be a bit darker maybe it won't but you'll probably see on instagram first have a wonderful week guys Mwah. bye